Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we will be going over the basics of material attributes for our models. The models imported from the PDB are already colored and they do have materials, but if in any case you want to change them or make a new material, we can go ahead and do that now. The model I'm using in this tutorial is myoglobin, which is found in muscle cells. Now myoglobin is actually where the science of protein structure really began. It was the first protein to have its three-dimensional structure revealed and studied. So I've imported the myoglobin protein from the molecular Maya plugin, and we're going to uh, render this with meshing. So turn off the atom visibility and turn on the mesh visibility. I'm going to press 5 to go into shaded mode. I'm going to select the mesh I want to modify. And from here we go into the attribute editor. By default, it should appear on the right side of the screen. If not, we can open it by clicking on this icon right beside the molecular Maya icon. In the attribute editor, we'll be able to see all kinds of attributes. Um, to change the color, we simply look through the tab and find the tab that says the name of a molecule underscore surf shader, which stands for surface shader. And once we find this and open up the tab, this is where all the fun begins. So we're able to change the type of the material which each of the materials have specific characteristics, whether it's shiny and glossy or dull and matte. So you can really experiment with that. And in here, we can not only change the color, but we can also change other attributes, such as transparency, ambient color, incandescence, diffuse, translucence. And you can see how these changes will affect your structure in real time in our 3D space. So play around, experiment with all the different material types and various material attributes. And uh, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video.